Hey everyone, my name is Chelsea. Welcome to my channel. We do styling, thrifting, DIYing here, all things home. Today I am going to do a thrift flip. If you watched my last video, then you will have seen this vase that I picked up for a thrift flip specifically. So that's what we're going to do today. We are going to turn that vase into a pottery type piece. Those pottery vessels that you frequently see online are often super expensive. I'm talking hundreds of dollars. One day I might splurge on an authentic piece for myself, but today is not that day. So we're going to DIY one. We are going to use some inspiration and turn this piece into exactly what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and get started project off I am just going to take a flat black spray paint and just give a really light coat to the vase overall that way in case anything would ever kind of chip off any layers we have this dark base to really protect us from any glass shining through Now, if you want to do your project exactly like I am doing mine, you will obviously need a piece to make over. You would need a flat spray paint, the color of your choice. You will need joint compound. You will need some acrylic paints. I definitely recommend using matte ones. And then this is up to you, but I am going to tint my joint compound here. You truly do not have to do this, but if you want to, you're going to choose a color that is going to be similar to your base. You will also want to get some gloves for this project for sure. I am now just mixing up my joint compound with my paint, and this is actually just paint that I had left over from when I painted the wall, which you can see featured here. Now that the paint and joint compound are fully mixed, you want to put your gloves on because you are going to pick up a bunch of the joint compound and just start to cover your vase in it. I am just going back and forth right now to get a good cover on it. Adding motion that you're going to see here is what's going to give my vase extra texture and kind of a cracking looking effect that you will see as this dries down, but I just love the way that that really ages the piece. Now you can leave your joint compound to dry naturally, however, I did end up going in with my hair dryer to help the drying process along a bit. And now I'm just going to go in with more of that flat black spray paint just to cover it lightly to darken the piece back up. As the joint compound dries, it will take on a lighter effect. Now I am going to just put my paints on a plate. I end up picking up about four different colors and I made sure to pick up matte paints and that is really important because you don't want to have shiny paint spots on your piece because that will really take away from the authenticity. I am going to use a wet paper towel here to dab my paint and put it onto my vase. You can use other things if you would like, such as a brush or a sponge, but I just find that I like the wet paper towel best because I can use other parts of the paper towel to dab any spots where the paint goes on too heavy, and the dampness from the paper towel just seems to 
resist too much paint transfer in one area. Guys, I am not going to lie. This was a difficult video to edit because the footage seems very repetitious in areas, and that's because it sort of is. To really create an aged piece, you want to create depth, and we do that by layering. So you can't just splotch some paint on it in one heaping swoop and think that you're going to get a really aged, in-depth looking piece. So that's why you have to go back over and over again with variations so that you get that depth. And I will give you more tips for this along the way. An important tip to remember is that you need to get in the crevices and in the important spots on your piece. For me, that was the edge, the inside, and around the top here. You want to think about where a piece would naturally age, and that is typically in any indentations or parts where there's a change in the shape. So for me, that's here at the top. Another tip for this project is to never go in with just one paint color right onto your piece. You're going to see multiple colors being layered onto my balled up paper towel because that is really what adds depth and layers of color. I will go back and add a little bit of a different color and then go back to the base and add a little bit something else in. So you will see here that a little bit more green is coming out this time and so you really want to make sure that you're not just using one singular color ever at a time on your piece. You guys do not forget the bottom of your vessel. It can be really easy to get caught up on what you're doing on the top and really neglect the bottom. And it looks so inauthentic because suddenly you go from this beautiful aged looking piece to just a bottom that's one solid color. So make sure you flip your vessel over and really pay attention to the bottom area as well. It's okay if your paint looks really bright and like it has too much contrast at first. As these paints dry down, especially when you have matte paint, they are going to really deepen up and look much darker and richer. At the last minute, I decided that I wanted to rub some dirt over this. This is going to kind of make it look a little bit dusty and add another layer of authenticity. So I'm just going to finish rubbing this on, give it one quick blow dry, and then let's do the reveal. You guys can see that as this piece fully dried, it really dried down and created a nice dark face. I love the way this came out and I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more from me, you can subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.